this is my foot, and it is excellent. Done. I've depended on it all my life. Because this guy had polio. And I've been limping all my life. And the shoe looks bad enough, but when you look at the actual foot, one of the things a good normal foot is, has is can go to the heel and to the toes. Instead, mine just has the middle. And I'm kind, I kind of rock back and forth, and I don't have that correction ability. I just have this one spot. I can't even go barefooted because any little speck under my foot, I can't avoid it the way you can with a real foot. So my walking is pretty normal, but uh, you probably can pick up on a little bit of a limp. I don't really know much about my limp, but I'm imagining that it is a little weird and a little strange and it brings me to the subject of polio, which is what I got at three years old. So I've literally spent my life with a dysfunctional foot and leg. Look at the size of my calf compared to my normal calf. This has, is missing all of that stuff apparently. And so it's nowhere near as strong and nowhere near as agile. And, and part of my life, it was a curse. It was a bloody curse, good grief. And a part of my life, it was uh, just trying to keep up with the gang. Part of my life was embarrassment. Oh my God, this, I'm, I have this ugly thing on me that people are turned off by and grossed out by and uh, think I'm bizarre and weird and whatever. And eventually I, it, it informed me it, I realized that it made me conscious of my physical body because I had to be conscious just to survive and to keep up with the gang when they took off walking fast and so on. And that was a great gift to have a physical body that I was used to and was conscious of. And... It's been, ever since then, a gift for most of my life now, for 30, 40 years. My body has been a gift to me, and yes, it has its problems, but it has woken me up to taking care of those problems, living with those problems, and not being embarrassed by them, but actually being okay about it because because just because of that it has given me insights given me growth given me change given me uh, my own perspective on things the the polio made me aware of my body but it didn't make me aware of the food i was eating and that had to come from somewhere else. But the reason I was receptive to it was that I knew I wanted to treat my body properly and well. And I could see very rapidly how important being a vegetarian was and how good for me that was. And it's been 
ever since. I've been a vegetarian for 50, a little more than 50 years. So long time. And the most important thing is how it has informed me and woken me up and helped me become a vegetarian and a person who exercises every day and a person who eats correctly every day because I'm taking care of this body. Food to me is not about taste. It's about, is it good for me? It's not about volume, oh, I want to feel full. It's about what does my body need? And uh, that has made me a pretty healthy guy all my life. I got people who are younger than me and having all sorts of problems and cancers and things like that. Not me. I did get COVID. That was the first time I was sick in about 20 years when COVID came around. But it was pretty reasonable. I gave into it. I felt it. I was with it. And for all of you who have had COVID, that first day when you are just smashed flat, me too. And I accepted it. And I... I can't say I reveled in it because it was so strange and so powerful and so strong and the, the, the respiration parts were hard. So even COVID, uh, although it went on for another two or three weeks until it slowly trailed off, um, was an exceptional, an acceptable uh, nuance of my life or new experience in my life that that I didn't wasn't bothered and angered by it or frustrated by it or yelling and screaming it was the next thing that showed up and the next thing I paid attention to which is the way I treat everything in my life it's it's how we live our lives not what happens in our lives that's the good or bad news. It's the problem or the solution or the whatever. And if you learn, which polio helped me learn, to accept all that shows up, then your life is fine. Here was the next thing, you know, COVID. Not the end of the world. I'll live through it. I can live with this and make it work or I can work to not make it worse. <laughs> and it shut me down, turned me off, laid me down. Okay, I'm shut off, turned off, laid down and I'm gonna pay attention. Maybe that's the core of it. I, I like this conversation. I like how, how it, came from this little story to very present day, very meaningful in my whole life. <laughs>